virtual machines are amazing but it has certain problems so i am going to show you something extreme which might be better than virtual machines this technology is great and can run different os like ubuntu parrot kali in seconds and once you are done using them you can just it can run steam to play games can run development environment with vs code can save you from hackers using browser resolution and much much more and the best part is that it is very lightweight as compared to virtual machines as it doesn't uses virtualization or wsl but it uses docker container that streams straight into your browser and don't worry it's free so this technology is chasm workspace and to install this all you need is this you can install this on your local machine or on cloud yeah i'm using debian 12 running on my local machine and installing chasm is as simple as copying this command from this page and executing it in the terminal and here just accept it by entering y and that's it now it will automatically set up everything for you and my nist dot and here are some credentials we will need for further use so just copy it and keep it somewhere safe next head over to your browser and go to https colon slash slash and your machine ip address this warning is because it is using self signed certificate and you don't need to worry about it just click on advance and continue to the site now to log in we will need the credentials that chasm gave us mine is here so we we'll log in as admin and here is the admin email so we'll just copy it and paste then copy the password and make sure that you don't copy the extra space otherwise it won't work and this is the dashboard for chasm with many useful features but before we explore them we need to do one more important step so just click on this little icon and first i will change theme to light of course that's optional and here you need to reset the default password for chasm and that's it now we have plenty of options here but for now we are more interested in workspace so just click on it and give it some movement and as we didn't install any workspaces yet it's empty so just click on add from registry now here we have various distros apps and chasm calls this as registries so let's quickly run ubuntu just click on it add install and now if you go to install workspaces and here it's installing this may take some time also it would be better if chasm adds a progress bar here and after 10 to 15 minutes it's installed this may vary depending on your machine and internet speed so now just go to workspaces and here it is and you can choose same tab or different tab and launch session and here is open to running in less than 10 seconds you can expand this and go to full screen not only ubuntu you can run many different linux os here but we have a issue if i launch the terminal i try to use sudo for super user access it won't work so to fix it just delete or log out from the session and go to admin and here under workspace go to registry and head over to install workspaces click on open to add it scroll down and here under this write following give a comma here and go to the next line and add following this will change user as root so that we can get super user access so just save that and again go to workspace and launch ubuntu and now if we execute sudo it works same way you can do for any other distro or apps like steam but before you go and install any of this distro watch this browser isolation which could save you from getting hacked in browser isolation basically a browser like firefox chrome or brave are hosted on a different server and we can use them on our local machine and since it is hosted on a different server you don't need to worry about your primary device getting hacked and every link will be opened on that server in which chasm is hosted so to use this we need to install an extension here i am using chrome so we'll go to chrome web store 
and search for chasm and here it is just install it now click on this little icon and click on these three dots over chasm go to options and here we need to change the server address to our machine IP address where we hosted chasm then just save it now to open any link with chasm just right click on that and open with chasm and this should not work as we not specified default chasm image yet but here we only have ubuntu and steam as we installed that so we'll go back to chasm workspace registry and here we need to install any browser i will go with brave and once that's installed click on this little icon go to settings and here change default chasm to the browser we installed now if we again try to open any link with chasm it works and opening that link in the browser we installed next you can also manage user and their permission and various stuff from here this can be very useful for managing different user i'm not going to cover that here they already have amazing documentation for that you can explore that but here under settings this feature is amazing here we can manage the domains or websites we want to include or exclude from the server so here we'll create one policy for gmail as i only want to access gmail through it so we'll give it a name at gmail domain here in whitelist and click on deny for all to deny all websites except this here some features like this one categorization is paid you could check out the price if you need they have different prices as you need for self host as well as for cloud which they host but for most of us this free community version is enough so we'll save it and now we'll go to workspace registry install workspace now i want to add this policy in brief so we'll click on that edit now scroll down and here under web filter policy we have the policy that we just created just select that now save it and now we'll launch brave and if i try to visit a website it denies now very important thing so just go to terminal and execute this command to stop chasm this part is basically where chasm is installed so that's it and thanks for watching